Well, Sri Lanka's worst deepening as a key economic figure quits. That's uh, its central bank governor. Now, his resignation comes when the central bank is scheduled to announce an interest rate decision tomorrow. Well, Ajith Nivat Cabral was appointed governor in September amid Sri Lanka's deepening foreign exchange crisis. He was known to favor reducing reliance on foreign debt, especially from the IMF. Well, since his appointment, Cabral has raised borrowing costs by a total of two percentage points from the pandemic from the pandemic era low to combat Asia's fastest inflation. Of a crisis leading to wild swings in Sri Lanka's stock market, a key index that closed about 1.5% lower, the S&P SL20 index had plunged by more than 9% at one point after trading resumed from a halt. The Colombo Stock Exchange suspended trading when the index fell nearly 8% at the open. Uh, Barak Gopalaswamy, a senior fellow at the Observer Research Foundation, says Sri Lanka may be running out of options. It's a very hard crisis to come out of. Um, that, that's, you know, that's affected and they did not, um, I don't think they saw this coming as quickly and as uh, massively, the momentum of it coming and engulfing them. Um, I don't think they were prepared for it. I don't think there was an enormous foresight about this. I just do not see what are the options for them to raise revenue to support these payments. So I think it's just going to get worse before it gets any better on the economic front.